Nice shot. Nice Three shot by Devin. I get a skip up there. Wow, Whoa. almost skipped almost it Almost skipped in. it into the basket. There's the hanging basket. Signature hole here at Naka Mixon. They'll clean up these putts and we'll head over to number nine. All right, a couple of birdies, a couple of pars. A four-stroke lead by Devin Frederick. Everybody else in the hunt. As we move on to basket nine, this is a par four, 730 feet, Tom. Now we're playing back down the hill again. First shot is threading through a lot of trees out into the open field. Want to throw it low and flat down this hill, get through the trees, and then let it fade out to the left. If you can get through the opening out there, then you're pretty much set up. That's a nice that shot. That was a uh, pretty good shot. Tucked trees in those may be trees, though. There, we'll see. Tom. I want to be just a little right of that in the center of the fairway. For some of our amateur players, it's good to watch these guys throw. Notice how their disc just parallels the terrain. Absolutely. They're actually throwing downhill, and that disc will stay the same level off the ground the entire flight. That'll keep it from fading too far off to the left or to the right. That's a good point, Tom. Getting a great shoulder turn off the uh, yeah, they, tee pads, look how low you know, was. Nice shot. A lot of D on that one. They're going to go right through that dark area there. That's where the basket's at. Devin's second throw here on basket nine. It's in pretty good position. Kevin with a good run up. Nate with a low, low shot. He caught something there at the end. Yeah, it was looking good, too. Oh, it looks like we're going to see a roller here. Justin had a good roller on, uh, I think that was number five. Turn. Four. Asking for it to turn. Yeah. Devin like with that. his third throw. Just got to curl it around the tree. Got to look at it. Oh. Just Almost. caught the rim. It's a great hole to birdie. Just caught the rim there, too. Some tough breaks on those mm -hmm. putts. Nate going for the bogey. Justin finishes there. All right, okay. Devin with the only par gets that uh, lead up to five uh, strokes again, Tom. Nice. Tom, we're moving on to basket 10, a par 5, 730 feet. Devin's uh, keeping a pretty commanding lead here through the front. 10's a tough hole. We get into the back nine here. We start to get into some heavy woods, the boulder fields, a lot of creeks, a lot of elevation. This, is, this will be a great back nine. An early tree from Devin. Not what you want to do on your tee shot on number 10. You can really? get some penetration on this first shot. It really sets up the hole. That's right. You can go too deep as well. That's just a little early. He's going to have a tough uh, look around those trees. Jamie with a very smooth delivery, Tom. Caught a tree, though, at the end. Nate does. It's a little skip there at the end. Okay. Devin's, Devin's got a forehand. forearm to get out around this bend. He you takes a see. bad break there on that tree. It's difficult to do. When you get tight into this bend, it's very difficult to get back out into the fairway. And you can see nobody's had a run up so far in the boulder field there, Tom. <laughs> yeah, this fairway is difficult to have a run. Kind of plant your foot between two rocks and give it your best shot. That's a and good that rip down a good the gap shot. there. Right there. Nice shot by Justin. Nate has a nice look. Yeah, if he could just penetrate that alley mm -hmm. there. And he does. Good execution on that shot. Uh, Caught some wood at the end.
around Not the bed. Bad. The pin's protected by a wall of boulders again. That just drifts a little bit to the left. Good finish there. From behind the tree, Devin puts his in. He needed that. That was for a triple bogey. Yeah, tough break on that hole. Okay, tough break, and the leader's only got a two-stroke lead now. Everybody's still in striking distance, Tom. Here we are at basket 11. This is a par 4, 485 feet. Once again, you have to sh thread a shoot of trees. It's a little bit uphill. It's a lot like number one, but not quite as long. Tremendous release there. Caught a tree at the end, but he got a lot of distance. Good view of Nate's shot there, Tom, coming right well, down the middle. Nice, slow, Just flat caught a tree. shot. I think he'll still be in good position with that. Jamie with another nice shot. Yeah, nice, smooth delivery. Well placed. And Devin catches some early wood again. Nate stand and deliver, just fires it down. Look at that shot. Wow. That's a nice shot. Makes there. it look easy, doesn't he? Yeah, that's not an easy shot. You know that, Tom. Devin's got some trees to get through here. He goes high and right, curling back. Oh, what a great shot. He's right shot. there as well. Good recovery. Wow. And Jamie wow. threads the needle as well. Duplicates nice shot. It. There's a creek guarding the front and the back of this landing area. You can hear the uh, water roaring in the background there, Tom. Go in. Oh! Get in the hole. Nice Just shot. about did. <laughs> there are the bad ones. You know, if you hadn't played that course, you wouldn't realize how great those four shots were, Tom. They, they really <laughs> made it look easy, I'll tell they you did. what. Now we're coming up to a fun par three hole. Mm, absolutely. Okay, so we've got three birdies there in the par. Pretty tight match now. Well, we're gonna take a break, Tom. We've seen some great action so far, but we'll be right back to see all the final action. I am. If you didn't save me some of those chips. I did. I cannot believe you two. Patience. You forgot the dip. Use it before you lose it. Ooh, that was close. From the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. All right, we're back. Tom, we're on basket 12. The par 3, 252 feet. Tell us about this hole, Tom. A lot of elevation on this. You're standing at the creek level and throwing uphill. There are two lanes. Some players will take an Anheuser shot. I like the left route myself. A little treacherous when you get to the basket. If you're too far to the right, you're going back down again. Down a very steep <laughs> hill. Nate's going to throw a forearm, forearm Heiser shot. All right, he takes the left route there. He's curling it back. To the skip. Boy, he put that Great right shot. in the neighborhood. Yes, sir. You have sir. to have the right speed because if you take a skip, you're down at the bottom of the hill. Absolutely. Don't want to go too far. Nice Anheuser shot. Jamie by with Jamie. the left lane. Devin also up the left side. Very nice. Parks it. Good up. You can see about eight or ten feet past the right of that basket is trouble, Tom. And drop down about 20 oh, feet. Nice one. putt there. Justin, happy oh, to make that one. Oh, 
Devin Good with a nice putt there. <laughs> Nate looking to make his birdie. Nice. And he does. And Jamie with the drop in there, and we've got three birdies in a par, and it's a tight field here as we've got a tie now between Justin and Devin, Tom. Game on as we move on to basket 13. This is a par four, 548 feet. It's a fairly simple hole if you can throw it straight. But, <laughs> <laughs> but it Story very, of my life. It's a very tight fairway. As long as you throw it straight and stay Boy, down the middle, you're in pretty good shape. looking very nice there, Tom. You a don't want to be on that side of those trees. They're in mm. jail. They're easy to go into and very hard to get out of. You can't see it from here, but if you were behind the players, you see it looks like a graveled road going all the way down. There's trouble to the right. You drop off in that tree line. If you get to the left, who, like you said, you in jail. might have to just pitch out. This one's going a little bit to the right. All right, and he nice stays in the, into in the, the roadway. Fairway. It's a good looking hole from the tee, Tom. The tee shot is everything on this. The second shot's not as difficult as the tee shot. You can stay in the fairway, you have a pretty good shot. To All right, hopefully that hole. doesn't drift too far right. Oh, you see he's dropped down Or he went the hill. down to the second road, but if you go one more, you're down there by the water. <laughs> Jamie with a shot, right down the middle, starting to go over to the right. edge. Oh, and he gets a kick back to the left. A good break there. That's Devin's got to get back up and get through these trees. Wow. How many needles you got to thread on that one, Tom? Oh, what a nice <laughs> shot. Look at the basket there. It's in oh, that little that was a good cropping shot. there. That was beautiful. That was a great camera angle to I show you. I don't even know how we what... saw the basket from down in there, Tom. That was threading the needle all the way. All right, Jamie's in good shape. I think I see Justin through the trees. <laughs> this looks like an easy shot, don't you think, Cubby? <laughs> he, okay. he did catch a good break. He'll be he able to did. approach it from over there. Look at this. Just want to get it in there. If you go too far, you're down by the water, Tom. That's right. And it's a long way down to the water. Wow, that oh, is a sweet shot. That was Justin, great. Justin, boy, look at the run to that one. That was beautiful. You know, Devin's really got to get this putt here, Tom. It's a must make. Oh, oh and he just catches the bit low. face of the basket. Look at that. We've got a lead. Justin, the new leader here by a stroke. Game on here, Tom. It's getting exciting. It really is. All right, we're here at basket 14. This is a par three, 305 feet. Look at the water there to the left. Tell us about this one. Look at that. Two routes. This is a signature hole here at Nakamixon. There's two routes threaded through the trees, play along the creek line. Which he and did. And you want to turn it into the basket at the bottom of the hill. The creek guards the basket. Wow, we got a good the kick there, behind. Tom. I seem to like to go down the right side. I'm a little scared to go over that water. It looks so nice to go out over I this know. creek. Watch Nate. There's a great shot starting to turn into the hole and just fades out at the end. I can never talk my Firebird into going to right when I go Yeah, Firebird's way. not the right one <laughs> probably for that. You want a, a disc that'll turn over just a little bit for you if you're going to thread it through and play over the creek. Wow, he flirted with that tree a little bit. Let's see if he can he come did. back. It's good that tree's not a year older. Looks like Jamie's going to play it your route, Cubby. Yeah, there's some trees down there, but uh, it's a difficult route, too. A lot easier to go down that road than go down to the water. You can take the penalty out of the equation of <laughs> taking the road. Let's see if Nate can put this one in. Oh, Almost. just caught the top of the basket. That was a good attempt. Devin on his fifth row finishes there. Like Devin. That's a tough hole. After missing that putt the hole before, he did not need that. But Devin looks a little bit dejected. He had a big lead and let it slide on the first few well, holes Well, now we've the got back. a three 